When thinking about ways to speed up your old laptop, one of the most reliable methods is to install an SSD on the device to significantly improve boot up times. What usually happens is that you would get an SSD, use it to replace your slow hard drive, and put that hard drive aside to die a lonely death because you can't use it anymore. What if I told you that you can use both an SSD and your old hard drive on your laptop at the same time? With something called a hard drive caddy, you can do just that, provided that your laptop has an optical drive that you do not plan on using in the future. In this video, I will be showing you how I installed this caddy on my laptop in order to enjoy the speed of an SSD while making full use of the storage of my old hard drive. In the beginning, in the beginning, there are several things you can do. First, you'll need to get a 2.5 inch SSD, and then you have to get a caddy with the correct size. You can also back up your old data somewhere such as a pen drive or another method called drive cloning, which I will not cover in this video as I plan to install a fresh copy of Windows 10. For the SSD, I chose the Samsung EVO 850 with 250GB of storage. The next step in choosing a caddy size is very important because there are actually two different sizes for sale. One is 9.5mm thick and the other is 12.7mm thick. To get the correct size, remove your optical drive from your laptop and measure its thickness. I got about 9mm from my optical drive, so I chose the 9.5mm variant. As I received the hard drive caddy, you can see that it comes in a very simple package, containing the caddy itself and several small screws. The caddy is made of plastic covered by thin aluminum sheet with some instruction stickers pasted on it. The plastic seems reasonably sturdy and should hold up with everyday use. Before recording, I had already replaced my old hard drive with a Samsung SSD, so I'll only be showing how I installed the caddy in this video. Okay, let's begin by preparing the laptop, caddy, and hard drive. First, take the hard drive and align its ports with the connectors of the caddy. Next, push the hard drive into the connectors to secure its connection with the caddy. After that, use the given screws to fix the hard drive and caddy together in place. Once you've done that, go to your laptop and follow the instructions for each of your laptop models to remove the optical drive. After that, in the video, you can see that I was trying to find the correct way to align the caddy to prevent any mistakes during installation. While doing so, I found a component that was not provided with a caddy, and I'll call this component the screw hole from this point onwards. Therefore, I'll have to transfer this screw hole from the optical drive to the caddy. In my case, the screw was difficult to remove. So, use a small enough screwdriver and be very careful not to strip off the screws during the process. Once I've transferred the screw hole to the caddy, it's time to transfer the drive cover, which is this thing. Removing this cover is actually quite difficult. I had to eject the optical drive using a safety pin. Remove the metal plate protecting the cover. and carefully pry open the tabs using my screwdriver. While pulling apart the cover using my hands, I actually broke one of the tabs.
cover is still usable though, but make sure to be very careful during this process. Now, take the cover, align it with the holes of the caddy, and push them together to snap the cover in place. At this point, your caddy is now complete. Simply align the caddy with the laptop, slide it completely into the laptop. And reinstall the screws you have removed previously from your laptop. From there, you can safely power on your computer, and it should automatically recognize the hard drive in the caddy. In this screenshot, you can see both my SSD and hard drive recognized by my computer. After installing the caddy, I formatted my hard drive and used it for installing less important programs and for storage, while keeping important programs in my main SSD. Now that I have both an SSD and a hard drive in my system, I can enjoy the fast boot up speeds of the SSD while keeping the capacity of my old hard drive. The only disadvantage is that I lose the ability to read and write CDs and DVDs due to the lack of an optical drive. There are two reasons why I did not just install my SSD inside the caddy. Even though the connectors are the same, the transfer speeds of the caddy tend to be slower than the maximum speeds of the SSD depending on different laptop models. This means that you are essentially limiting the maximum performance of your SSD when it's installed in the caddy. Furthermore, I found out that the computer's BIOS does not recognize the drive in the caddy as a boot drive. This means that the computer cannot boot up Windows from the caddy. These problems can be solved by connecting the SSD into the main drive slot and installing Windows into it directly instead of the caddy. While disassembling my optical drive for the drive cover, I feel like there's a risk of damaging the optical drive permanently. Therefore, be sure that you'll not be using the optical drive anymore once you have installed the caddy. Alright everyone, we have come to the end and I hope that you found this video helpful. Let me know if you have enjoyed it by clicking the like or dislike button. If you have any feedback, you can let me know through the comments below. Thank you for watching.